So we're going to start off with an example. That example is we've got 15 students in a year 10 class and they've got some marks out of 60 on their previous maths test. So there are some of the numbers there. Um, and I'm just going to bring out my calculator. So in order to put the numbers from that set of data into a list, I'm going to go into my stats menu. So this is just the um, one of the ones next to the navigation keys just there. So just to the left of the navigation keys and it says stat on it. And we're going to also going to be looking at the list menu as well, which is the second function of that button there. So if I press stat, it comes up and the first thing it says is edit. Now this lets me edit my um, my table, my lists. If you think about an Excel spreadsheet, it works very much in a kind of similar way into that. So I want to edit my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go into that number one. So press enter. Ah, and here I've got some lists. So you generally there's six lists all together. Um, and I've already got some numbers in my list one, my list two, and my list three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to clear those so that we can start entering um, some values. So if I go across to my list one, um, and you can see that first cell under list one is, is highlighted. If I go up with my navigation keys, just so I'm highlighting that list one column heading, um, and I press clear, and now I press down just to go back to that first cell again, uh, all of my values are now gone. I'm just going to do that again with list two. So again, I'm going to go across, I'm going to go up, I'm going to press clear, and there, now my list is clean. Uh, with list three, I'm not going to press clear because I just want to show you there's a really common mistake that um, a lot of people tend to make. Um, and that is that instead of pressing clear, they might press delete. Um, and you'll see when I press delete, my list is now gone. So there's nothing now in between my list two and my list four. So um, that list three has been deleted from my spreadsheet. Um, but it's really easy to get it back. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Um, and then I'm going to show you another way that you can use to clear a list as well. Um, so firstly, to get it back, I find the easiest way is just to go insert the same way as we would for if we wanted to insert something into an equation that was missing. So second in the delete button. Um, then it comes up and it says name. Um, and then you just name the list. I'm just going to name it like list three. Um, and there you go. You'll see all of those values are still in there. Um, I'm just going to delete it again. There we go. So now it's gone. And I'm going to go back to my main screen. So second and then quit to go out of the list. Okay, so now I'm in my main screen. I'm just going to go into stat again. Um, and you'll see that number five says setup editor. So if I go number five, now setup editor, that just restores all the lists um, to its kind of original form. So now if I go enter, it's going to say done. And when I go back into my list again, you'll see that that list three is now back again there. Uh, another way we could clear it is again back in our home screen and back in that stat menu again and you'll see number four in that menu says clear list. So if I go to number four um, and I'm going to clear list and I specifically want to clear my list three. So if I go second and then the number three that gives me my list three enter and that's done and now when I go back into my screen there's nothing there. All right, so that's a whole lot of admin. Um, now we want to enter some of those values from our questions. So the first number um, in that set of data values was 55. So if I'm in my first cell under list one, I'm just going to enter the number 55, press enter, and that will take me down to my second position. Now you'll notice um, that on the bottom of the screen there, it's got list one and then in brackets two, and that's telling you that's the second position uh, in list one. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to enter all of those values in. I won't spare you going through and doing every single one, um, but I'm going to enter those and then I'll come back and we'll work on from there. All righty, so I've entered all of these 15 numbers into that spreadsheet. Um, and then the question asks for me to order the data from smallest to largest, or I should probably say in this case from um, lowest to highest, uh, to find a percentage that each student scored um, and the highest and the lowest percentage and to find the average percentile of the class's results. Okay, so here are my 15 numbers all entered in. And I know there's 15 um, because if I can see there again, it's got list one and then in brackets 15. So that's telling me that's used the 15th cell there. So I know I've got the right number of data points in there. Um, the next thing we need to do is for order it from lowest to highest. So now I'm just going to go back into my main screen. So second and then quit again to get out. Um, and in my stat menu, you can see here it says sort A and sort D. So if I go to sort A, um, and then I press list one because that was where my data was. So again, second and the number one gives me list one. 
and I press enter. Um, now when I go back into that data list, I can see there all of my values there are now entered from lowest to highest or smallest to largest. Uh, the second thing it wanted me to do um, was to calculate the percentage of each of these um, out of the total. So the total number of marks in the test was 60. Um, and I'm going to do that using um, a formula. So I'm going to go across into my list two, and then I'm going to go up so the whole of list two is highlighted. Um, and from here, this is how I can enter um, a formula or um, uh, any kind of other thing that I want to extend to um, a certain number of cells under that column. Um, so in here, I'm going to find the percentage of each of the values in my list one. So I've got my fraction template up. I'm putting list one on the top. Now my test was out of 60, so my total at the bottom, and then it's a percentage, so I'm going to multiply it by 100. Enter, and there you go. There's each of my percentages out of 60. Now some of those are fractions, which um, I'm not a big fan of actually. So I'm, I'm then going to go across into my list three. Um, and in my list three, again, I've got the top highlighted because I want to do this to all of the um, values. I want to make a formula. And I'm going to convert um, my list two. So now I've gone second and the number two to get my list two up. And then I'm going to go to my math button and I'm going to use the convert to a decimal. So I'm going to convert each of those things in my list two into a decimal. So there we go. The next part of the question wanted us to recall the smallest and then the largest uh, percentages in the class. And I can do this in the main screen as well and pretty easily. So because I already had those values ordered from smallest to largest, my smallest percentage is going to be in my list three, because that's where I had the percentage. And I want the, the decimal percentage, not the fraction percentage, um, in my list three. And it'll be my first position because that's the lowest value. Um, so enter, there we go. So 35% was the lowest percentage. The highest percentage, that's also going to be my list three, but because there's 15 people in the class, that will be in the 15th position. Uh, so there we go, 96.67%. Uh, the very last bit wanted me to find the average uh, of the class. So to do that, I'm going to go into my list menu this time. So instead of the stat menu, look at the list menu. And this is where we can find some of the kind of maths and the operations behind the list. So second and then stat. Um, and then I, you can see here, um, we're going to go across to maths. And I want to find my mean, the average of those values. So now if I go number three, so that brings up my mean. Um, and I want to find the average of the percentage. So the percentage was in list three. Um, and again, I want to use my decimal percentage and press enter. And there we go. I can see it's 70.89%. That's my average. Two things I wanted to mention just really quickly. We, we're not going to do examples for these ones. Um, the first one is that you can do operations on your lists if you would need to um, in the main screen. So for example, say I wanted to square all of the values in my list one. Um, I could uh, bring up a bracket, enter my list one, so L1 there. Um, and then I could square that, and that will square all of those values in that list one. So enter, there we go. Um, if I wanted to as well, I could then store that into, say, my list four. Oh, wrong key, list four. Enter. There we go. And now when I go into my stats menu in list four, there's all of those values there. So you can enter a data set from the main screen into a list if you would like. The last thing as well I wanted to mention is how you might enter a sequence of values. Um, this can be really handy if you've got a big lot of consecutive values you need to enter. Um, so if I go up to number five, again, I'm on the top of that because I want to fill in everything in a list um, or a whole set of values. So if I go up here, then I'm going to go uh, into my list menu again. So second and stat to bring up the list menu. Um, if I go across to ops, um, and then number five there says sequence. So I'm going to enter a sequence. Um, we have our expression, which is x, our variable is x, and you find those using the variable x, not the letter x. Um, say we want to start at 1, and we're going to end our sequence at, uh, say, 40, and we want it to go up by 1. So if you want a different, um, actually, maybe let's, well, let's go up by 2s. Um, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to paste that into there. Um, and there you go. You can see we're going to have every odd number between um, 1 and 40 there. 
Alrighty, um, that's it for today and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.